Todd Weiss, executive chef at the plush Turnberry Isle Resort, previously worked at the Pierre Hotel in New York, Aspen, and the famed Ernie's in San Francisco. At Turnberry, he was responsible for five restaurants and six kitchens. Happily, he found time for a warm chocolate espresso cake. Okay, this next recipe is um, chocolate espresso cake. The great thing about this cake, it's uh, low in calories, low in fat, and high in fiber. It has all the ingredients of a regular chocolate cake, but we've sort of taken some of the bad stuff out. We're starting with uh, semi-sweet chocolate, low-fat milk, over a double boiler, we're just gonna melt the chocolate. It's a very easy recipe. You don't need any mixers or anything. I'm gonna add my butter, sugar, and just get everything nice and smooth. And I'm gonna add my eggs. The good thing about this recipe is you can make up this batter and hold it in the refrigerator for about a week and just bake a little bit every day. Okay. Now I'm going to add some espresso coffee, whole wheat flour, and I'm just going to kind of alternate the hot, I mean the uh, dry and the wet ingredients so they all come smooth rest of the coffee, a little sherry wine, baking soda, and the rest of my flour. Now we're going to make a mango ginger sauce. The other sauces we're not going to cook. The mango sauce we're going to cook because okay, add the mango, add the orange juice, and a little bit of ginger. And we're just going to simmer that slowly for about 10 minutes until the mango starts to break down and basically makes its own sauce. And then we're going to puree it and strain it. You need to strain it in case there's any um, fibers in the mango. Okay. Okay, to bake the cake, you can take a little brioche mold or you can use a muffin tin. Just spray a little ham or olive oil in there. A little bit of the batter inside. Leave about a half an inch or a quarter inch at the top so when it comes up, when it raises, it doesn't go over the top. And then we're going to put that into a uh, 350 degree oven for about eight minutes. We've got our cake out of the oven. We're going to let it set and cool. I like to keep it a little bit underdone so the, the middle is still a little uh, undercooked. Okay, we're going to take our pureed mango sauce and just put a little bit in the middle. We're going to go around the outside with some raspberry sauce. And then a little circle with the blackberry sauce. And this is called the Hurricane Tropical Fruits since we live here in South Florida. It's going to bang the bottom plate. And what's a hurricane do? Turns. And then we're just going to twist that. Take our chocolate cake out. Just going to trim this a little bit. Set that on the plate. And garnish it. Garnish includes fresh berries and pineapple. A few pieces of mint. Thank you. 